Hello, welcome to IF. We make a new video every week. Please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date and post a comment with your thoughts. I love to read them. This week we ask if these creatures are alive. Cryptids are animals that have yet to be proven by science. These include beasts such as the Loch Ness Monster, the Chupacabra and the Jersey Devil. These fantastic beasts live in the realms of human imagination waiting to be proved real by science. But some cryptids are not so fantastical. They have a more grounded origin. They may have once existed or may have relatives that exist today. People report seeing them and find evidence of them to this day. Could they be real? What are they? We are going to take a look at these beasts and see what evidence if any is out there. First let's take a step back and look at the planet we live on, Earth. We think of our special blue orb as an oasis of life in a barren universe. But maybe we should change our minds. Over the billions of years the Earth has hosted life it has easily seen more death. Over 99% of all species that have lived have gone extinct. From the first creature to climb from the primordial ooze to the dinosaurs and all the way into modern times with animals such as the dodo. Most creatures have had their time in the sun and have now disappeared. However there have been examples of animals that were once believed extinct being rediscovered. Probably the most famous example of this is the coelacanth. Coelacanths are an ancient fish thought to have gone extinct some 66 million years ago. This was until in 1938 when they were rediscovered in South Africa. Marjorie Courtney Latimer was a museum curator in the port town of East London northeast of Cape Town. She was friends with a captain Hendrik Goosen, a trawler man, who fished the nearby coastal waters. On December 23, 1938 she travelled to the docks to wish the captain a Merry Christmas. Here she noticed a blue fin protruding beneath a pile of rays and sharks on the ship's deck. She pushed these fish aside and revealed, as she would later write, the most beautiful fish I had ever seen, five feet long and a pale mauve blue with iridescent silver markings. Marjorie did not know what the fish was but knew she must take it back to the museum at once. Much research was then carried out into the fish with many arguments ensuing but on January 3rd 1939 Miss Latimer heard in a now famous cable most important, preserve skeleton and gills. Fish is as described. This message confirming that it was a member of what must be a still living coelacanth species. So if a discovery as amazing as this fish is possible, what if some other creatures could be proven to still be living? Maybe relics or cousins to animals we thought long gone? Let's take a look at the most famous cryptid of them all, Bigfoot. Bigfoot is the name given to a supposed large ape-like animal living in North America but there have been stories and sightings of other animals which also match the description from all around the globe. The Himalayan region of Nepal has the Yeti. The southern United States has the Sol Kalu. Northeast India and parts of Bangladesh, it's Mandi Barung. Japan's answer to Bigfoot, Hibagon, is said to live in the forested mountains in the areas of Hiba in the Hiroshima region. And then there's the Chinese Yerin. Just maybe, with so many stories, there is some truth to this. So what could it be? How about Gigantopithecus? Gigantopithecus was big. Fossils indicate it stood as high as 10 feet and weighed up to 1,100 pounds. Gigantopithecus thrived in tropical forest of what is now southern China for 6 to 9 million years. But around 100,000 years ago, at the beginning of the last Pleistocene Ice Age, it went extinct. 
or so they say. Gigantopithecus was a fruit eater who failed to adapt to grass roots and leaves that became the dominant food source in its new environment. But what if they are wrong? What if it did adapt or had a cousin which survives to this day? Is there evidence? Prints have been found in all areas these crypto hominids are supposed to roam. Hair and even bone have been reported, found and recovered but as of yet we have no concrete proof. Eyewitness sightings are quite common and range from the out and out crazy to the fairly convincing. One of the most debated pieces of evidence to date is the Patterson tape which you are seeing now. This footage was shot in 1967 in Northern California and has since been subjected to many attempts to authenticate it or debunk it. Many take the search for the mysterious great ape seriously and this could lead to their discovery at any time. If Bigfoot is too much of a leap, how about a living dragon? Megalania Megalania was a giant lizard found in Australia some 50,000 years ago. This reptile grew to a size of 11 feet and weighed up to 6 to 700 kilograms. It was a savage predator which is related to the modern day Komodo dragon. Perhaps the most terrifying thought is that it lived side by side with the first human beings on the continent. Memories of this monster have been passed down through aboriginal oral traditions but the giant lizard may be alive in more than just memory. People have reported seeing this monster to this very day. Sightings of massive lizards in Australia have been recorded in both the latter part of the 19th century and the early decades of the 20th century. Aaron Justice wrote in an article titled Meglenia Dragon of the Australian Outback. Meglenia might not be constrained only to Australia. Some sightings suggest it may live in New Guinea. A French priest in the 1960s was traveling upriver with a native guide in order to reach his mission. During the trip he spotted a large lizard lying on a fallen tree in the sun. We also have the work of cryptozoologist Rex Gilroy. He compiled a dossier of sightings. One particular sighting is worthy of note. It was late 1968 and Steve serving in the Australian military at the time was taking part in an exercise in Queensland. On what was termed the Norman Bay Ranch. One part of the exercise required Steve's unit to negotiate a particularly treacherous and dense swampy area. As the team did so they came upon something highly disturbing, the viciously ripped to pieces body of a cow. Not only that, someone had dragged the cow for a considerable distance before savagely eating huge chunks out of the unfortunate animal. More significant lizard like prints were found in the muddy ground all of which were close to 2 feet in length. If this creature is still roaming the outback it's another deadly beast to add to Australia's terrifying list of killer animals. And while we're considering cryptid reptiles we cannot forget the possibility of a living dinosaur. Dinosaurs died out millions of years ago but what if they still existed? It's not out of the realms of possibility. Many animals alive today survive from that time. We have crocodiles, turtles, insects and of course birds. The Mokeli Membe is said to be found in Central Africa. Looking very much like a sauropod, a long necked dinosaur, it has been reported for decades as the last living dinosaur. The Congo where it is said to be found is the only place where people really believe they may still exist. Daniel Loxton and Donald Prethero authors of Abominable Science, Origins of the Yeti, Nessie and other famous cryptids research the Mokele Membe. They note that though rumors of enormous beasts hidden in the Congo region date back at least to the 16th century, the idea of an elusive African dinosaur like animal seems to have developed only after the discovery in the 19th century of dinosaur fossils. In other words, Africa like all inhabited continents and oceans in centuries past was associated with legends and rumors of unknown monsters that lurk within 
a threat to unwary travellers, but idea of dinosaur-like animals named Mokale Membe is a recent development. The origins of Mokale Membe can be traced back to 1909 and a book titled Beasts and Men by a showman and zoologist named Carl Hagenbeck. In that book, Hagenbeck, musing on recently discovered dinosaur bones, speculated that sauropods, long-necked dinosaurs, might still be alive in deepest Africa. He offered no evidence aside from legends and rumour, but the sensational claim was quickly picked up and circulated by press. For example, the Washington Post story in 1910 announced that Brontosaurus was still alive. The publicity, according to Loxton and Prethro, launched what would become the modern cryptozoological legend of Mokele Membe. But not so fast, because there have been some sightings. In 1776, tribes reported it to be existing. Peoples from different parts of the river have claimed that they had seen the monster alive. There had been several expeditions, mostly along the riverbanks of the Congo, and several reports of its existence published. In the year 1939, a German Gazette published a report that a long-necked creature has been found which is known to attack hippos, even coming onto land and these reports have a strong resemblance to tribal stories of the attack style of the Mokele Mumbembe. Then, in 1992, another series of explorers searched the riverbanks of the Congo looking for Mokele Mumbembe. This expedition was mostly futile apart from two photographs. These photos showed what the explorers claimed to be the monster. If you think a creature, such as a dinosaur, could not survive until today, I remind you of the fish that started this whole video, the coelacanth. If it could survive, then there's a slim possibility a dinosaur could too. Let's get a little bit more recent with our final animal, and the one I feel is the strongest contender for being alive today. We are going to jump back to Asia Pacific and Tasmania. The Tasmanian tiger, or to use its correct name, Phylacine was a predatory marsupial. The Phylacine held the title of Australia's largest predator until about 3,500 years ago. They resembled a large short-haired dog with a stiff tail which smoothly extended from the body in a very similar way to that of a kangaroo. Many European settlers drew a direct comparison with the hyena because of its unusual stance and its general demeanour. Its yellow-brown coat featured a distinctive dark set of stripes across its back and rump and the base of its tail, which earned it the nickname Tiger. Sadly, these animals were hunted to extinction, with the last of its kind dying of exposure in a Hobart Zoo after being left out in the cold during 1936. However, it is highly plausible that out of all the animals in this video, this is the one most likely to still be alive. Sightings are common and video evidence is growing. The shy nature of this animal may have kept it in hiding for many years, but it could be making a reappearance. Professor Bill Lawrence said he had spoken at length to two people about the animals they'd seen in Cape York Peninsula. That could potentially be phylacines and that they had given plausible and detailed descriptions. One witness was a long-time employee of Queensland National Park Service and the other was a frequent camper in the north of the state. Lawrence said all the potential sightings to date had been at night. In one case, four animals were observed at close range, about 20 feet away, with a spotlight. Descriptions of their eyes, size, shape and behaviour were inconsistent, but with known attributes of other large species in northern Queensland, such as dingoes or wild dogs and feral pigs. The sightings were at two separate locations on Cape York Peninsula, but the specifics were being kept confidential, said Lawrence. Everything is being handled with the strictest confidence. He said people who claimed to have seen a thylacine were very nervous about relating their tales for the fear of being branded kooks or fringe types. It is not impossible that phylacines will be found. It's not a mythical creature and it is a recent addition to the list of extinct animals. Do you think any of these creatures will be found?
Do you think the evidence is compelling? Are there other creatures you believe have dodged the extinction bullet and are waiting to be rediscovered? Please let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video hit that like button. I would also like to ask for your help. This channel has been a little slow to grow. If you would like to see more please please subscribe and maybe suggest a topic for a video you would like to see me cover. Till next time.